Hey everyone, welcome back to another Gun and Battle Operations 2 video. This time in a regular room, a uh, 250 cost, rocking the Zaku 1 raid type. Got it in the Romba Rao uh, colors. Straight up uh, blue giant at this point. A uh, little paint job that I threw on. It's a little bit darker than the uh, guff. Uh, or goof, whatever you want to pronounce it. I've always called it a guff. Uh, a little bit darker than the guff uh, custom colors. Got a little bit more of a purple hue to it, but uh, I think it's pretty decent. A little, little uh, throwback to Ramba Rao. Now, uh, this is one of those uh, matches that really come down to the last couple of kills. And uh, I, what I want to do here is just talk about how that in these rooms, in these 250 rooms, if you can get a low level suit at a higher level for the low cost, uh, you can do a lot of damage. And that's why I have my best games in my Zaku 1. I'm not sure what exactly it is about the suit itself that you know feels so great, but I'm just able to at least, if not quarter, you know, I mean, if not half, then quarter someone's health on a mobile suit. Uh, and if not quarter, I can at least get three, two or three mobile suits nicked down enough for my team to come in and, and usually two-on-one or just one-on-one -on -one dunk. And uh, to me, not only is that what a raid type does, not only is that the raid's job, but it's something that Zaku-1 just does really well at. This is not a suit. The Zaku 1 is not a suit that you're going to run out and get, you know, six kills in a row and and dominate in. And, you know, I'm sure someone out there has done that. I'm sure I'm going to get a, a link, a video link in my comments about someone, some dude that actually has done just that. But nine times out of ten, you're not going to dominate with the Zaku 1. But what you are going to do is antagonize and demoralize the other team. Every time they think that they're going to have something going on, you're going to be over there pelting them down, just chipping away at their armor. Doesn't matter if they're a gen, doesn't matter if they're a raid, and it actually does matter if they're a support, because you're going to hurt them, and they're going to get really pissy about it. Like, <coughs> right here, I'm up against a gen. He's got the type advantage on me. He's, he's got the weapon on me uh, to do more damage. I'm only doing 111 hits. But... I'm able to, you know, get him thinking about me enough that my team behind me, as you can see, just was able to regroup and hold off. We got one guy coming back in. We got another guy getting ready to go down, but they were able to regroup a little bit because they were so interested in me. I dodged that sniper shot like an ace and then just took the bazooka right to the face, so I don't know if I'm actually good at this game or not. Yeah, I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. Um... This map, in my experience, is a usually a battle between B and C. You know, checkpoint C, checkpoint B. If it's not one, it's the other. Uh, this or waypoint, I should say. Uh, waypoint B. Whenever I'm playing, nine times out of ten, is the one that's you know where the most bodies are being thrown down at. But uh, C definitely has its fair share. Um, right here, I a little overzealous, but it's because, honestly, with those two down as low as they were down, I honestly thought that we could press in there and destroy them, but then that air raid came in and everybody just kind of fell back, and if you look at the top left of the screen there, you'll see everybody's health, besides, uh, hell, even my health, are, is down. I'm actually very surprised that those didn't take him out. <laughs> he he got out of the way at the last second to survive that. Kudos to him. But yeah, everybody's health is kind of down. They're a little worried about getting killed. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just come over here, pincer him. I don't care if my suit goes down. And as a raid player, that's what you do. You, you don't need to worry about going down. You need to worry about bugging the shit out of the other enemy. Uh, or out of the enemy in general. Uh, we got bomb planted on ours on, on us, I believe. 
if, I'm not sure if we diffuse it or not, but I, I know that it ends up being a sign of things to come. But like I said, this is one of those matches that really comes down to the wire. I highly recommend watching to the end of the video to, to see how it ends because it does come down to just a couple of suits. This is a big blunder by me. Come in here. Now, this game was laggy. And I thought for a second, oh, I'm lagging out. I can't. I'm, and I don't know if you guys have ran into that problem before, but I've ran into the problem where you're lagging out and you can't capture anything. I thought that's what was happening. Turn out, enemy there. Look at the splash damage on that bazooka. That civilian bazooka is the most devastating weapon in this game, bar none. I don't want to hear about the Magella type gun. That that civilian bazooka is devastating. <laughs> it's splash damage. I mean, and I've done it too. I've shot it and hit people about 40 yards away from me and taken them out with the splash damage on that civilian bazooka. That thing is ridiculous. I wish my mobile suit had it. I'd be dropping people like crazy. At this point, I, tell, I, I throw up a tell here. Uh, I don't know if I've already done it or not. I might have missed it. I throw up a Titan defense tell and pretty much a fallback tell because at this point, with a minute left, it's no longer about waypoints right now it's just straight up uh, dog fighting there there's no there's no reason at this point to go after waypoints there's no reason to go after bombs or anything we have a little bit of a lead and we need to do our best to keep on to it now I ran out of bullets went to the cracker started throwing it got some good damage thought I was gonna get some more good damage got stunned stunned and then dunked as the other team closed in around me. My fault went out too far. Overextended. That can easily happen, especially right here in the tunnel, because you don't want to get congested. Um, bit of advice, though. Getting congested in that tunnel is not as bad as it seems. There's not enough guns that do enough splash damage to get everybody in that tunnel. I've never seen anybody get like a triple or even a double uh, stun or anything off in that tunnel area, so there's really not a big reason to worry about it. It's okay to be a little congested in there, unless you're a support and you're in the back, in which case you're just going to be slowing your own team down. But 4-4 four, four, uh, four, four to 4-1, four, I'm thinking we got to press. Um, we really don't want to go down here. I see a support that I can easily get. I got It's one-on-one. -on -one. You know, my teammate's over there. He's one-on-one. -on -one. I'm thinking I got this, and then I see it. The two-on-one. I'm. The, oh, no. Oh, goodness. I thought that was definitely going to get them. It wasn't enough. Uh, I'm, j I'm just getting caught up here. I'm like, dude. So I run over, take this dude out, because I knew that my teammate had done enough damage to him to go down. I just didn't know why he hadn't gone down yet. Finished it off. 4-8, four, 4-5. Four, oh, finally finished that support off. Got up to 5 grand. I'm going to go down, but they're only going to get 250 out of it. It's not enough. It's not enough to win the game. And we got the W. Sig Zeon, as always. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Blue Giant, standing tall once again. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it was entertaining. I'm working on this commentary to get it a little bit better. I'm not naturally charismatic. Uh, more content coming. Stay tuned.